Hey guys, uh, so one optional piece I wanted to talk about uh, was this timing chain uh, dampener. Now on the early LS blocks, uh, they didn't use this. This is an LS2 uh, timing chain dampener. Uh, this is something GM uh, initially came out in their racing program and then it got installed in a lot of the uh, later blocks. Uh, the challenge if you have an early LS block is that it's, the block isn't drilled and tapped uh, to be able to mount this, uh, there's no place for the bolts to go. Uh, so TrickFlow has a solution, uh, pretty straightforward. It's this bracket kit. Um, it's a part number TFS 3067560. Uh, and in this kit, you get everything except uh, the timing chain dampener. And it comes with bolts that you're not going to use. Um, but here's what you get in this kit. You get the bracket, um, get three... Uh, bolts that you'll use to mount this. It mounts on top of the uh, camshaft retainer plate uh, and then you get these two bolts uh, that will mount this um, here. So the first thing you'll need to do when you get this, this uh, dampener uh, has these bushings already pressed into it. It comes this way. They're, they'd be pressed all the way in. Um, I used a, a nine millimeter socket but I came from the other side and they're just a, a light press fit. Um, I've got an Arbor press, so that made it really easy. Um, but even just a little um, arm pressure, you can probably uh, press those out by hand. But certainly an Arbor press makes it easy. Uh, so you're not going to use these. So you can set those to the side. And like I said, the bolts that come with the dampener, um, you're not going to use those either. So at this point, uh, the way to end up working out, uh, this now presses onto the, if I can get that so that you can see it, um, onto the bracket. And then these bolts will screw in and they'll hold this to the bracket and then these three bolts um, hold this, like I said, um, into the camshaft retainer plate. Uh, so you won't use, reuse the three uh, stock retainer bolts, uh, just the one up top. That would be the stock one. And then you use these longer bolts that come with the, uh, the kit. Um, TrickFlow does also include uh, these bushings. There can be a difference in the depth um, at this point. So depending on the, uh, the actual bushing that you get or the, uh, the dampener, uh, you might would need to press in one of these. Uh, it'd be pretty straightforward if you when you see it. Um, but in, for my instance, I don't need those, um, so I set those aside as well. Um, and so we can move forward with the installation. Okay, so here's how the assembly looks. So this is the camshaft retainer plate. This is the bracket that comes from TrickFlow, and then this is the LS2. Uh, uh, timing chain dampener. So you reuse one of your original bolts uh, here but then they provide uh, the other three. So this is the old camshaft retainer plate. I uh, just wanted to show you that so you can see there's a, uh, a seal, a gasket if you will, uh, built into this. Um, so it's a good idea to replace this uh, particularly if it's a high mileage older motor uh, sometimes this uh, seal can get compressed flat uh, and then when you try to reuse it, especially if it's dried out, uh, it won't seal very well. Uh, so for a few bucks, you can buy a new one or have a fresh gasket um, and then rub just a little bit of oil on it so that it's not a, a dry seal uh, just like you would, you know, a, an oil filter gasket. Uh, just a little bit alone there so it's, it is sealed to the block. Um, these are on at 18 foot-pounds. And there you go. Uh, it's also important to mention, make sure you put a little bit of blue uh, Loctite uh, on all of the bolts so that none of this backs out. Uh, certainly this would be a bad area uh, to have a bolt come loose.